While the internet was busy laughing at the Cyber truck or watching the Tesla bot show off its awkward dance moves, Elon Musk may have quietly done something way more important. Something that could mark the end of lithium batteries at Tesla. As the CEO himself revealed, We've put a lot of effort into this over many years, um, uh, mo mostly internally, but there have also been some key acquisitions that have been instrumental in achieving a low cost per kilowatt hour event no flashy tweets but make no mistake tesla is gearing up to replace lithium with something faster cheaper and safer aluminum ion and if the leaks are true the first vehicle to get this breakthrough battery won't be a roadster or a luxury model it'll be the ultra affordable ten thousand dollar model 2. in this video we're breaking it all down in three parts first what exactly is aluminum ion and how is it different from anything we've seen before Second, the exclusive tech upgrades that make Tesla's version completely unique. And third, how Tesla has been quietly preparing for this shift for years behind the scenes. So hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss the next silent bomb Elon drops on the auto industry. One, what even is aluminum ion? And why is it a lithium killer? Aluminum ion batteries are based on an entirely different electrochemical system compared to lithium ion. While lithium ions carry a single positive charge Li+, plus, aluminum ions Al3 plus carry three. This triple charge allows aluminum ions to transfer more electrons per ion, increasing current density, and enabling faster, more efficient energy movement within the cell. Theoretical calculations suggest aluminum ion systems could achieve specific capacities of over 2,980 milliamp hours per gram at the anode level, nearly 10 times that of standard graphite lithium setups, which average around 370 milliamp hours per gram. The result is greater output from a smaller volume, which supports both compact battery designs and high performance power delivery. Particularly useful in electric vehicles that demand rapid acceleration and long range consistency. One of the biggest advantages of aluminum ion chemistry is its independence from critical minerals. Unlike lithium-ion cells that rely on expensive and supply-constrained materials such as cobalt, nickel, and manganese, aluminum-ion batteries eliminate those requirements completely. Cobalt prices have fluctuated between $30,000 and $80,000 per metric ton over the past five years due to geopolitical instability and unethical mining practices in countries like the Democratic Republic of Congo. Aluminum, by contrast, trades around $2,200 per metric ton and is mined in over 40 countries with the top three producers being China, India, and Australia. This abundance allows for a far more scalable and ethical supply chain. In addition, aluminum recycling requires just 5% of the energy needed for raw extraction, further reducing long-term environmental costs for large-scale battery production. When it comes to safety, aluminum ion batteries stand out with their use of non-volatile ionic liquid electrolytes. These materials are not only thermally stable up to 200 degrees Celsius, but also chemically inert, which eliminates the risk of thermal runaway that still plagues lithium ion technology. In stress tests conducted at Stanford University, aluminum ion cells were intentionally punctured, crushed, and short-circuited. Yet, they remain cool and did not ignite. The thermal stability profile of these batteries also means they can operate safely in ambient temperatures ranging from minus 50 degrees C up to 85 degrees Celsius without performance degradation. This wide range opens the door for safe use in extreme climates, whether it's the freezing winters of Canada or the blistering heat of Arizona. From a performance perspective, the charging speed is where aluminum ion shows shocking improvements. Lithium ion fast charging typically maxes out at around 250 kilowatts on Tesla's V3 superchargers, which still requires 20 to 40 minutes to reach 80% capacity. Early aluminum ion prototypes have demonstrated charging rates exceeding 1000 kilowatts in short bursts with full charges completed in under three minutes for small battery packs. While full-scale EV packs will likely settle in the 350 to 500 kilowatts range, this still slashes wait times by over 
This level of charging performance could support a future where EV charging happens in the same amount of time it takes to refuel a gasoline car, removing one of the final psychological barriers for mainstream adoption. Durability is another key breakthrough. Standard lithium-ion batteries tend to degrade after 1,000 to 3,000 charge cycles depending on depth of discharge and thermal management. Aluminum ion batteries, especially those using carbon nanorupture cathodes, have shown cycling stability up to 12,000 cycles without a noticeable drop in capacity. That equates to over 2.5 million kilometers in driving range, assuming 200 kilometers per day. In aviation and commercial freight, this level of durability could lead to entirely new categories of long-life electric platforms with far lower total cost of ownership. For consumer vehicles, it means longer warranties, stronger resale values, and fewer end-of-life battery replacements, making EV ownership simpler and cheaper. Finally, energy density is advancing rapidly with this technology. While early aluminum ion cells were limited by low voltage output, the integration of high surface area cathodes, such as 3D graphene foam, has pushed volutric energy densities to over 1,350 W hours per liter in lab conditions. That compares to around 700 to 900 W hours per liter for today's top lithium ion cells. Higher volutric density means Tesla could reduce battery pack size while maintaining the same driving range. A smaller pack also leaves room for structural reinforcement, crash safety improvements, or expanded interior space. This is especially useful for compact EVs like the Model 2, where every cubic centimeter matters in design and efficiency. So what does this all mean in the real world? It means Tesla could build a Model 2 that charges in five minutes, lasts longer than most gas engines, costs significantly less, and is safer to use in every way. This battery could remove the number one barrier to EV adoption, which is still range anxiety and charging inconvenience. For many people, this is not just an upgrade. Is a reason to finally go electric. How long do you think a car battery should last? Five years, 10 years, or a lifetime? Come and a loo battery. If you want a battery so durable your car might break down before the battery ever does.